What's up, Trade Hackers? Welcome to today's update. Today's Monday, July 6th, starting with the question of the day that I'm sure a lot of you are wondering. What the flip is going on with Tesla? Let's go to the platform and take a look. So Tesla trading at over $1,300 a share, up over 13% just today. I mean, talk about a parabolic move. I mean, you see something like this, that starts to catch your attention. Now, looking at a, this is a one-year chart. Remember, we had that that parabolic move back here before the all the coronavirus started hitting. And of course, Tesla went down with the rest of it. I mean, just a few months ago, we're talking about Tesla in the 300s. Just a few months ago, 300s. Now it's at 1300. So just a, quite a move. So what's driving this thing? Well, I mean, any, anything you read, I mean, you know, last week they come, came out and said that they delivered more cars than, than what Wall Street estimated. They delivered 90,000 cars instead of 86,000. But does that really warrant a move like this? No, I mean, this, th this thing is just one in one of those situations where it looks like it's a short squeeze. You know, Tesla is one of the most shorted stocks out there. And when these shorts get squeezed, well, what do they have to do? They have to buy back their shares to cover because they've felt too much pain, which in turn catapults this thing higher. So it sure looks like a short squeeze. Of course, nobody really knows if that's specifically the case or if it's actual buyers coming in to own the shares. But I mean, you look at, you know, JP Morgan came out today and said, it's kind of the, the latest catalyst said that uh, they're raising their price target from $1,000 a share up to $1,500 and that pushed it higher as well. But man, what a what a parabolic move. You know, one of the other things that with, with Tesla is, of course, it's a car company, right? And which, by the way, now it's the most valuable, as far as a market cap goes, the most valuable car company in the world. It just passed Toyota as the most valuable car company. So pretty crazy stuff for, for a company that's only, what, 13, 14, 15 years old. Pretty amazing story. Even back here, I think it was, I think it was in this little dip right here where we had a couple little down days uh, or it may have been right here. Anyway, one of these, you know, Elon Musk came out and tweeted and said, Tesla's stock price is too high. You know, so it had about a one or a two day dip when that happened. And then I guess I wonder what he's thinking now. He sure hasn't come out and said anything since then along the lines of his uh, of his stock price. So interesting stuff. But keep in mind, you know, Tesla is, like I said, it's still in its very early stages as a company. And, you know, I, I, I think it's more about what the technology is going to end up being for the, for the world, not just the car. I, I really think the car is simply just a model to, to show off the technology that they're using with the batteries and and everything else that's that's involved with the Tesla, but a lot of that technology is going to bleed into other completely industries, whether it's into your home or other types of travel and things like that. So, so I think I think it's really still just in its infancy. Now, am I telling you to go out and buy Tesla right here? No, absolutely not. In fact, a little bit more of this, and I'll be looking just to take a quick short-term uh, short position, using of course defined risk, vertical spreads, that kind of thing. But I mean, good for them. I, I, I mean, I think it's a great story. I think it's a great company. I think it's a cool, a really cool technology, but interesting to see how that is treating the stock price. All right. What else is going on? Well, it is July 6th. We are past the just past the end of the second quarter, which means here in a couple of weeks, all the big boys are going to start announcing their quarterly earnings announcements. So Usually mid-July is when that kind of kicks off. Banks are some of the first ones, then tech starts to jump in. So I'll be posting in our community, I'll be posting kind of the earnings dates for some of the upcoming notable earnings announcements. So look for those. Uh, look forward to trading some earnings announcements. You know, we took we took last quarter off for the most part with all the, the volatility with the COVID-19, coronavirus, all that stuff going on. Applied volatility was just so high. There were so many opportunities everywhere that you didn't really need to trade earnings. Now, they ended up, you know, with the strategies that we trade, they would have ended up performing pretty well. But I just I felt like the risk compared to the reward at that point was a little too steep. And so we we didn't really take many earnings announcements, but I do look forward to to trading some earnings this upcoming cycle. So look forward to that. 
Uh, if we take a look at the markets today, I mean, here's kind of some of the notable stocks. I mean, almost everything is green. You've got a couple red Macy's, which that doesn't really matter. I think they're going to be going out of business anyway. Uh, Shopify was actually down, which is a little bit surprising. They've been kind of a, a rally horse and some other, you know, wind down tiny, Walmart down tiny. If you look at the uh, Market Watch tab on TOS, if you look at the S&P 500, 89 declining. 411 advancing. I like to actually drill down a little bit even further and just look at the S&P 100, which is the largest 100 stocks. You see you got 93 advancing, only seven declining, you know, most of which are, are energy type companies. So pretty, pretty solid rally here we had today. The S&P is up 42, Dow up 420, NASDAQ up 244, and the Russell, uh, kind of the lagger of the bunch, only up 10 points. And so the, the small caps have been weaker recently, and they continue continue staying weaker. Bonds pretty flat. They were down a little bit more uh, earlier in the session. Natty Gas up over 5%, so decent move higher. Grains uh, a little bit higher, and the Euro a little bit higher. So that's what's going on in the overall market. As far as individual stocks goes, I already mentioned Tesla. That's that's the big big daddy of the day. Uh, but like I said, everything green, everything up two, three, four. I mean, Amazon's up five percent. A three thousand dollars stock moving five percent in a day. I mean, that's a that's a big boy move as well. So Amazon's starting to get a little parabolic as well. Be interesting to see what these quarterly earnings announcements look like. If this is a in anticipation of blowout earnings, and then it's going to kind of fizzle out, or are they going to be so good that it's just going to blow the roof off? We'll see. Everybody have a great evening. Talk to you tomorrow.